This is a screencast to show you how to make your widgets more usable. Data entry widgets are one of our most commonly used widgets, so I'll be focusing on them today. Let's navigate to the Widgets tab. Here I've set up two widgets, a data entry widget and a data grid widget. In my scenario, the data entry widget will be used for new partnering websites to set up their business hyperlinks and then pass through that information to my website and it will be displayed via the data grid widget. First, let's take a look at the data grid widget. Okay, I have some information here and it could probably be formatted better and look a little bit better. Now let's take a look at the data entry widget. Or This widget looks pretty good for a contact form, but we can change some of the field types to make it a little bit easier for the user to sign up. Now let's go back to data tables and we want to set some data types. So this is email address. We can set that to hyperlink and it becomes mail to link. We can set their website to hyperlink. Okay. And then a logo image will set to photo. Another thing I want to show is that these columns you can change their size just by dragging the right side of the column to expand them. And this is saved by your browser. Now one more thing, let's add a new column called timestamp. And we're going to set that to a date data type. Okay. What we're going to use that for is to record when the new entries were made on your data entry widget. Let's go to data entry widget. First, let's add timestamp in. Shows up at the bottom. And we have a field type hidden. Now let's set that value to timestamp. And that's good. Now let's set state to a drop down and then import options from predefined list. Let's select states and you'll see that this is pre populated with all of the states. Uh, one more thing set comments to text area. Now there's more room to write comments. Okay, save that, view it states are there. Let's do a quick test. And then submit. And this is trying to redirect to a URL that I set up. Um, but the URL is invalid. So we'll close this. We'll set it up with a valid URL. And do one more test. Okay, submit. Now the redirect is valid. The next thing I want to show is the settings. We can change the date format. We have a lot of different date formats available. There's also language and currency settings. Okay, let's look at the data table for what we what I just input. And you can see the timestamps are formatted as we uh, just set in the settings. And the information's there. Now let's look at our data grid widget. Now you can see that the data looks a lot more, looks a lot better and more relevant. I hope this helps your widget design. Happy building!